Alright guys, your 19th XHTML and CSS tutorial and this is going to be a sweet one. So what I want to teach you guys first is how to properly align text like center justified and you can also make it left justified which it is by default or make it right justified. So the first thing uh, that we need is something that we can center on our page. So just go ahead and make something like um, a header 3. Header one's just too big. I don't like them. So make a website. We'll see what I would have like if I made a blog. So Bucky's blog, and uh, that looks pretty good. So that's what we want the title to be. But if we go ahead and save it right now, look at this. It's on the left hand side of our website, and that just looks dumb. Title should never be on the left hand side. What is this like? Uh, you know, I don't know. I can't think of. <laughs> I can't think of a good example, but I want this title in the middle is what I'm trying to say. So in order to do that, go ahead and write header 3, of course, and inside your curly brackets, the property that we need to change is called text minus or dash. I wonder what's the I wonder what the correct term for that minus sign is. If you know, leave me a comment so uh, I won't mess up in the future tutorials. Anyways, text minus a line and you can either have um there's one of four things you can do. Left, which is by default, which you just saw. Center, which we're going to make this. Right, and I think there's one called justified. Now, justified, and I never use this one. People usually don't. But I think it's like what newspapers use, where it's left and right justified. So, anyways, uh, play around with that if you want. But I want my text centered. So, let's go ahead and save this and see what we get. Refresh and check it out. Our title is now centered perfectly on our web page. Pretty sweet, huh? So now that we have a blog, let's go ahead and blog about something. So I'm going to go ahead and make a paragraph. And I'm just going to write, this is the best day ever. And let's just go ahead and paste this a bunch because I really want to stress, get my point across that this is indeed the best day ever. So I'm going to write it like 8,000 times. So let's go ahead and save this and refresh. And it says, all right, this is looking pretty good, but we can't really, uh, you know, this first line doesn't really stand out. It would be sweet if we could just indent this right here. So you get this brilliant idea to go in here and write space, 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 about 15 spaces. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and save this, refresh, and what the heck? What's going on? It's not working. Did we break it? No. Remember that XHTML is white space insensitive. So it takes that white space and pretty much is like, yeah, I'm just going to ignore that. So anytime we want to add an indent on our paragraph, which you know, you want to do a lot of the time actually, you need to add a special property called text indent. Now, text minus or dash, who knows? indent spell like that and you can either do this as a percentage I believe or what everyone just normally does is they use a certain number number of pixels how many pixels do you want to indent it in order to do that just write the number of pixels and write px after it so now once we go ahead and save it it's going to go ahead and indent that 25 pixels or again you know you don't have to indent at 25 you can indent whatever number you like but that is how you indent text in a paragraph so anyways if you're trying to indent it like this before and it wasn't working that's why because XHTML is just gonna ignore your white space and do what it wants so that's how you make paragraphs indented so now that we have time uh, let's go over something cool that you guys are probably wondering what to do and I probably should have covered this in like one of the first CSS tutorials but hey We'll cover it now. In order to change the overall font, or excuse me, the overall color of the text, as well as the background of the entire web page, you need to edit the body element right here. So let's go ahead and type body right there because we're pretty much, this means affect the whole website. So what do we want to do to affect the whole website? Well, the first thing that we want to do is let's go ahead and change the background color. And you know what the uh, property for this is? Well, if you guess background minus color, you are correct. So let me make sure I spelled that right. Background color, yep. And let's go ahead and change it to something like blue. That should look pretty good. And after this, so now check it out. Our website is going to appear blue with black text. 
but I mean that's not the easiest stuff to read so if we have a dark blue background it would be a lot easier to read if all this text was white kind of just like that so let's go ahead and do that and in order to make our text white we can do this in one of two different ways we can go ahead and add make our headers white and make our paragraphs white and make everything else white or what we can do is we can just go ahead and add a color white property like this color white property to the body and since everything else is in the body it's gonna get affected as well so it's a lot easier than going through each one of your elements and changing it to white just change your overall body to white and that's gonna affect anything that's in it so let's go ahead and save that and see what we get nice that is a lot easier to read and this website is looking pretty good mostly because it says Bucky on there and I'm just an awesome guy so anyways that is uh, how you affect body background color and the text color and also center align headers or pretty much center align anything and also indent paragraphs so I hope you guys enjoyed I'm guessing you did so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next video